least I don't have to swim down anymore. You know, swimming down was faster than this elevator, so I don't know. <laughs> kind of like speed a little bit. It's not the one I need. All right. Sticking. Oh, damn I like how she says that down here where it's probably actually a lot cooler temperature wise than it is above. Okay. So. Oh. Eh? He said to go down to where the Tide Ripper was and then make a right. Well, this map is like, like we needed to make a right inside of the root, like the casino itself over here. Oh no, it does want me to go out there. Okay, okay. So it is still come out here, make a right. This way. Oh shit. More enemies now. Spike snout, snap maw. Another snap maw? Two snap maws. Technically, don't have to fight those. <laughs> I'm already above the ruin. Looks like the place. No borrowers, though. And that must be the statue. Okay, I gotta find a way up there. The vent. Lucky find. Although, we should scan around in case there's anything here for us. There's a crate in that room. But how to get to it? Up to the event. What do we got here? Mia Hellray, Psychic Inferno. Prepare for all. Prepare for magic. Prepare for the Psychic Inferno. Mia Hellray returns to Vegas with her hottest show yet, and the critics can't get enough of it. Dazzling. She'll fry your mind. Como siempre el show. De Mia esta fuera de cierre. I probably fucked that all up. Open your mind to a new reality as this mistress of magic burns away the border between our world and the mystical beyond. Our sensational mystery and mentalist dinner won't be here forever though, so book your tickets now for the experience that's setting the world of magic on fire. Dazzling dancers, devilish divination, and a flaming dragon await you in the Psychic Inferno. Fun. Psychic Inferno! This could be useful. I was about to say, how do I how long we get out of here? Let me blow this up. Now that sounds like something that should attract Burr or attention. But I guess they're being kind. They're gonna wait for us to get higher up to reach the statue. To get all the way to the statue first. I feel like I'm gonna have to knock this down. Find out. Huh. 
Whoop, nope. Pull. I didn't forget about you, my pretties. Another purple all the way up top. Up? Oh, no. Hmm. Oh, I guess I need to go over here. What do we got here? Burner maintenance report. Alright, let's see. November 2nd, 2055. Dragon burner refueled. Component cleaning cycle completed. Safety check done. And then repeats a couple of times. Complaint from Clyde that current flame level lacked spectacle. Increased pressure on main bur uh, burner. Increased pressure led to uncomfortable levels of heat wash on the first three rows of tables. Customers reseated and the couple in A5 compensated for singed clothing. Pressure reduced. Dragon burner refueled. Component <laughs> cleaning cycle. I was thinking that like a, a flame indoors is uh, a giant flame indoors like that would be very risky. And yeah, after having been to a couple of like theme parks where there's a giant fire burner, yeah, that's a lot of fucking heat. Like, even in open, windy day conditions, standing like 30 to 50 feet away from the, the burner itself, the fire itself, it would have melted this Whoa. place. Well, I got the burner. Better take it back to Moreland. Jesus, the fucking the way she said that. Ow. You're so lucky, you little shit. No. Oh, nice hit. I'll box you. Yeah, we don't need to fight these guys. in this fucking place. I wonder if... when society, you know... Begins making substantial progress. Again, in, in the Horizon world. Will they keep the level of fitness that has happened here? Right? 
You could say that, like, look at the real world example. We're like, we're not all hunters and gatherers anymore. Like, this world has it notched up by the extreme because they're all, like, trying to fucking Anyone fight to machines to stay alive and stuff. So it's become a lot more ingrained in all of their individual different cultures. Minus, like, the Ataru. But even they have, like, fighters. You're back! Did you get it? But I guess with Gaia controlling the machines, maybe they would stem away from fighting machines. And do you therefore, have the oh, please say you do. Oh, change so their athletic ways. Truly majestic. Here you go, Morland. Yes, yes. Thank you. I hope getting it wasn't too much trouble. Oh, this design—it's so compact. Oh, the ancients knew how to make them. It should fit the housing like a dream. Just need to cinch up the blaze leads, and away we go. Uh, we? Make the maiden flight without the maiden who played such a vital part? My mother raised me better than that. <laughs> you should have the honor of seeing the world in a way that no one alive has ever seen it. How about it? How can I say no to that? Very easily, but yeah, good sell, good sell. Oh, it's in the daytime? All right, fine. Seeing the place from the sky and night would have been fine, too. Whoa. What was that? Nah, nothing to worry about. <laughs> we have a sturdy tether connecting us to the ground. Pure Osirum craftsmanship. Well, time to give it a little flame. Aha! We ascend! Behold, the world beneath our feet. Ah, the sky at our fingertips. The burner heats the air inside, which gets lighter than what surrounds it. So we rise. Indeed. We're powered by hot air. Just like Stemmer. <laughs> but don't tell him I said that. Cool. We are on the cusp of history. The first successful Osirum flight. There have been other attempts? Oh, yeah! The history of Osirum flights is fascinating. And, you know, violent and frequently incendiary. <laughs> I feel like you should have mentioned this before. Ah, the others failed because their machines were too heavy and complex. They were begging to crash. Not here. Just a pilot compartment, a blaze, a burner, the orb, and a tether. In simplicity, there is perfection. Hey, Trevor Tusk! At least, you know, less chance of exploding. <laughs> you know, if Abaddon were here, he'd be drunk like a wastrel, crippling fear of heights. That said, he gets poetic when drunk. He has evocative rhymes about all his various ledgers. A little known fact. Osram poetry started as work songs and forges around the claim. Ah, just a bit of turbulence. We shall tame these wild skies yet. <sighs> this feels like more than turbulence. Yeah, I feel like we're getting pretty high up here. Record. That was not part of the planned aerial experience. Oh no! Oh no! What is that? Ah, uh, yeah. I think our tether just came undone. Is there gonna be a storm bird up here? Moreland! Oh. <laughs> That's just a small setback. Nothing to worry about! They can fix this! They can fix it! They can fix it! Crazy it! It's gonna hit us! And things were so pleasant! Oh my god! They're not even gonna show the crash. Ooh, jeez. 
back! No! Hey, hey, go away! Go! Shoo! Where the hell did we land? He's in danger. I have to get to him. No! Where the fuck is he? Oh, he's over there. Gotta follow his voice. I'm stuck on the other side. I've gotta clear out these machines. Where even are we? Okay. Damn, yeah, we got sent, uh, we got blown pretty far. At least we didn't get blown over the mountain. Like, that's a s somewhat positive thing. All right. Scrapper, Apex long leg scrapper. Ah, you're fine. Just keep laying down. What is this asshole doing? Go attack! No, Scrapper, battle it out! Fight your brother! I'm sad the hot air balloon was taken down. Shot okay. in the eye. That's the last one. And now you check on Morland. Hold on, Morland. I'll get you out. Aloy. Great gears, you're alive. Uh would you mind applying a little leverage? No, I'm just gonna leave you here to die, man. You've learned your lesson. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, kidding. Hey, you all right? Oh. oh, when that maelstrom hit us, everything fell apart. I remember dropping, and then you tumbled out, and... It's okay. We're alive. You know, in terms of Osram aviation, <laughs> we're pioneers. And they say it's a cursed field of study. <laughs> Do you need help getting back to camp? Yeah, no, I can make it. But I need to get the burner. It fell off when we were attacked. I mean, I can replace everything else. Except that. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, after the work we put you in to get it, I appreciate that. Us? I couldn't get a good look at it in that maelstrom. Between the screeching and the lightning, it was probably a storm bird. Woof. Hideous machine. Well, at least it vanished with the storm. Maybe. Fucking death flag, red flags being thrown all over the place here. Yeah, at least it didn't bother us anymore. Oh. Aloy, would you mind finding a way across? Yeah, I tree. I found it. something to bridge the gap. <laughs> Efficient and effective. <laughs> Make a fine Osirum. Thanks. Oh my Jesus Christ. Do your cars have to be that loud? But alright, cool. We got an Apex Stalker Heart and Apex something else, our Colossus Rider. I'm down for that. Because obviously those are probably going to be pretty high level. Oh, fuck. Yeah, there's the storm bird. I see it. The burner is right below that storm bird. Ah, uh, yeah. I really need to stop making predictions on what's safe. Uh-huh. Gotta be the same one that brought us down. We'll have to kill it to get the burner. You ready? 
Ready as I'll ever be. Well, the game would give me the. Should try using something more than shocking. Give me the fucking markings. That'd be great. The thrusters are. Oh, the thrusters have a chance for the primary nerve. That's why. Okay. And then there's the storm cannon. Obtained by detaching the component with tear damage. I feel like every time I've shot this off, it just blows up. But all right, then it fucking tells me otherwise. Let's rumble. I see you've spotted me, Stormbird. Let's get loud. Component destroyed, dude. What the fuck am I supposed to do about the storm cannon if it keeps getting blown up? That was the idea, yeah. Okay, I'm getting robbed. Fine, then! Is it weak against acid? I really keep forgetting to look at the weaknesses of these fucking things. Ah! I was... I was so inside of the... The loot box, the fucking scrap. Holy shit. Is it doing it again? You son of a bitch. You're a little bastard! Are all of you like this? Burn! Like if you've shot off half of this fucking thing's thrusters, it shouldn't be able to comfortably fly as much as it does. This thing's gonna be dead before I shoot off its thrusters. So awkwardly, I, I tried to pull out my rope caster, and then I was like, all right, we try to swap things up a little bit. Uh. Fucking, why do your wings move so much?
God! Get brace shotted. That's so disappointing. Oh, that was too. It's alright, this next shot will kill it. Or not. Almost, though. Yeesh. Nice critical hit chance. Ooh, fire one as well. Very good coils. Got a Stormbird Circulator. Not one of the things I need. Unfortunately, but I'll, we'll see if maybe one of these components got it. There were six components, so there's six chances to get what I was looking for, which I think is a prime nerve. Hey, Loy. Uh, over here. When you have a moment. Yeah, give me a little bit, buddy. And then look at the carnage we've wrought around here. Jesus, we really didn't get shit. Ah, well. Yeah, I don't know what to do about the... Yeah, wow, we literally didn't get fucking anything that we were looking for from a Stormbird. That sucks. I don't feel too bad about it since it was like a side quest one, but like... Yeah, I think we literally just kind of gypped bad chances and then for some reason the, the the cannon gets destroyed every time we shoot it and we're not even using anything crazy we're literally just using our regular advanced arrows so I don't know how the fuck we're supposed to detach it I'll, I'll have to look at it in the future maybe we're supposed to detach other components steel to my soul oh. oh I think that stormbird had it in for me or really fancied my orb yeah, you're gonna need to limit the height that your shit goes up. Found it. Ah, <laughs> oh, just a hairline crack in the casing. Yeah, I can clean that up with a bit of spot welding. Assuming the ground doesn't open up and swallow us, I, I'm gonna say we're finally safe. Yet again, you risked your life for me and my ambitions. I wish I had Stemmer's words to thank you properly. If it helps, You've inspired me to draft up a new improved orb. Something that unites a spectacle and survival. Uh, I'm honored, but I think I'll let Abaddon and Stemmer have the next flight. I'll see you back at the camp. There's so much to think about, so many ideas to explore. Until we meet again, may your tools never break, and may your imagination never find its limits. You too, Morland. <sighs> Level 45! I think, yeah, we already got the hunter ability over here. We're gonna grab these. Even though we haven't really hacked too many machines with Elemental damage, you know, it's something to help out in the future. Is there a tremor tusk between here and yes, there is. I do need tremor tusk tusks. So I wanna go fight that. Oh, there's a rebel outpost over here too. So the rebel outposts don't really matter as much as like the camps. The camps, I think we clear out the camps and we get an orange weapon. Whereas the outposts are just kind of there. But fuck it, we're over here. Rebels. I heard they were in the area. The best way to get rid of them is to take out their leader. Fire's not gonna help here. Yeah, why don't you uh, check out 
I think, oh, this is actually a already possessed bristleback. That's annoying. All right, I was gonna try and hack it. Sons of Prometheus. What? Huh? By the looks of that armor, that soldier is the one in charge. Come on over here. Movement. Hair. Are you sure? Yeah, are you sure, dude? I want to silent strike their leader. Who did this? There's a body. Walk into an ambush. You! There is someone! Ah! <laughs> Shot at the crotch! Your head's vulnerable, motherfucker. Ow. Tanks from fallen soldiers. I should get these back to the Without a leader, the rebels should abandon this place. Where's the other one? You. You think this is amusing, Outlander? It is. Oh, nice firebomb. Wow, you're so lucky. Yeah. Won't be bothering anyone else. All right. Was that it? I don't have to look for a, a lock box or anything. Oh, let's make our way to the tremor tusk. This guy has no idea what's him. Should hit it with frost ammo. What else? Darker amplifying sack, ammo drum, processing capsule. I have no idea how to access the processing capsule. That looks like it's like in the brain. But whatever. Let's get these tests off. The way he just swept away his tusks. Tragic. Ouch. Ooh, 
craft ammo. All right. That's not good. Destroy the amplifying sack. Fucking find where it flung all of its tusks. God damn. I don't even know how many I've picked up from this guy. We're just gonna keep scrounging around. No, I don't want to climb over it. I'll take it. Oh, looks like one more. Sweet. Okay. Wait a second. No. Hmm. So we currently have three, and we definitely shot off four. <laughs> Good thing I was keeping count. All right. Let us, I guess, go over explore these ruins. There should be another ornament inside. Uh, do I have to go in from out here? Oh, but they did design it over here. That is an oversight. <laughs> Someone just slapping rocks all over the goddamn desert and they just. Didn't notice putting it inside of a building wall twice with like no indication of why it should be there. A lot of water in here. Might be part of the same water system as Moreland's ruins. I'll check in here. Like, what is dead about? Oh, there's the key. Am I gonna have to fly over there? No way. Oh, hold on. Okay. This is the Caesar Palace shopping mall, God. They actually modeled the whole thing from the IRL one. Sweet. I figured it was a mall. But I didn't know it was like a, a real one. Or at least based on a real one. That's fun. Oh, well there's... There's one, there's a war going on outside too. 
That's where we gotta put the key. And three, hey, fire gleam. Oh, that's what? Double bullshit. Holy shit. I might just be able to push the fucking box down over there. But maybe not. It is pushable though. This handy. Don't know for what though. Maybe there's something behind here. Is that what this is? I have to maybe fill this place up with water? Excuse you, Aloy. Thank you. Could just block it. Oh, oh Jesus. It, like sent me flying. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's one way to do it. I was fine just trying to like jump around. Key module. Oh, nice. It's actually the way around over here. What is this about? Beat smart poker. How often are we told to not show our emotions in poker? Keep a straight face. Avoid showing tells. Macau gaming mogul Kendrick Ustan shows us how old tactics are all wrong in his groundbreaking new strategy guide, Beat Smart Poker AI by Playing Dumb. Defeat casino AIs in five illogical steps that are simple to learn but hard to detect. Beat the house, crash the system, make a fortune. Now available for all the hollow readers for the low price of only blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Fight against the AI to make your fortune in these casinos. I'd be down. Oh god. Okay, I got a little stuck there. Door's locked. Looks like it needs a key module. Okay, I'm in. Huh. Another crate. Let's see what I can do with this. I don't even know what the fucking ornament is. Like this? I don't know where the fuck I'm going. This leads out. Oh, there's the ornament. What in the fuck? Yeah, how do I get up there? I can't use the pool caster while I'm in the water. Can I grab this while I'm in the water? You can't. Huh. But surely you can still try and pull it around.
<laughs> oh god. You can pull it around. See, if it had just been like stuck there, then I'd have I'd have the answer of like, okay, I need to climb up around here. That's not it. How in the fuck do I do this? Turning water off? You know, that's not something it considered. Yeah, let's see if turning the water off is an option. Well, that didn't do anything, but I can pull this, I guess. So here's our dilemma. We, so we have two crates. Obviously one is, has to be used to block the drain so that the water actually builds up. Does that mean I just take this and float it up? No. Because it doesn't get that high up. Like it floats up to about that level. really wouldn't help us because we can already get up pretty high just from the environment itself. But this literally gets us up here. Oh, I see it. Okay. Wait, wait, okay, okay. Now I'm getting somewhere. We're fine. We're good. We got it. Here we are. Ooh, a dragon festival. That's fun. Another ornament. I should give this to Stemmer the next time I see him. Oh my lord, that music. Holy shit. Yeah, we'll just leave the drain on over here. Permanent flow of water to flood the bottom of this place. We'll assume in canon that it just shuts off at some point. That there isn't enough water to flood the whole place forever. Alright. Let us... I've done that. Let's make our way... First we're gonna go west. 
Because there's apparently a salvage contractor over here. Holy shit. All right, so we'll go there, and then my goal is to eventually make a way to this rebel camp. Figure that out. And I guess we have to go to Camp Nowhere. This is a mission over there. Yeah, I, I'm trying to do as much as possible before we go on that San Francisco hunt. Because once we head out to the west, I'd like to stay doing stuff in the west. An awesome crew. They don't look too good. I should see if they're okay. Hey, folks. Wait, hold up. Sorry, I have to get your little green shine over here. Perfect. Keep this green shine for later. Ooh, and you've got a metal flyer next to you, too. There's another recording in there. Oh. Hell yeah, it's a black box. It doesn't slide down now. Cargo on the ground on schedule. Over. Can't believe how responsive this plane is. 240 feet long. 700,000 pounds on takeoff and turns faster than my 12 seater puddle hopper. Plus, they only wheeled it back out of a museum a few months ago. <sighs> Hell of a way to take this beauty off my bucket list. At least he achieved his dream. There's another locator beacon on the same frequency. Yeah, being able to f fly a great machine is definitely cool. I've thought about piloting a few times, but that's that's a lot of undertaking. I don't think I can do. Don't know the first thing about it though, so I don't know. We're gonna get through this. I promise. Now go get some rest. Do you need help? Wish I could say we've been through worse, but I doubt any salvager has had this much bad luck on a single expedition. Salvagers. You part of Karif's crew? Yes. Didn't think we were that well known. So you came here to make some armor. It doesn't look like things went according to plan. <laughs> you could say that again. I thought I had it made when we found some prime rollerback salvage out here. Then came the sandstorm, blew away most of our gear and ran us right into a camp full of angry Tanakh. We fled, but by the time the storm died down, we found ourselves here with half our food gone. Open to attack by machines and Tanakh alike. Sounds like you could use a hand. I'm Aloy. Runda. I can't ask you to help for free. How about I hire you to get us what we need? Draw up some contracts. Uh, you don't have to. I... Wouldn't be a proper salvager if I didn't. Won't take no for an answer. Yeah, hand me all the contracts. You mentioned your people needed food. We lost most of it when we ran away from the Tanakh. But only a bristleback would be able to sniff it out underneath all that sand. That's not a bad idea. I'll look into it. That's good to hear. You said you lost your gear? Yes. Can't be sure where it is, since that storm gave us the runaround. But I have a general idea. It's all in the contract. If you can get that gear back, we'd at least be able to set up camp properly. Make the crew comfortable. I'll take a look as soon as I can. You mentioned this place is exposed to attack. Is there anything you can use to set up a perimeter? We know there's a bellow back hanging around some ruins near here. Take it down without damaging its cargo sacks, and we could use it to make new traps. Set up a cordon. I'll make it a contract. Sounds like a plan. 
All right. It's not much, but we have some salvage to trade. Do you have anything I care about? No. Not so much, although. Hammer tail for processed metal blocks. That's not too bad. I'll buy, uh, I'll buy both of these Shaw Walker lightning guns. Ooh, Sunwing primary nerves. They've got some solid options for us here. Actually, a shit ton of the uncommon stuff, too. Jeez, okay. Couldn't find what you need, huh? It happens. I bought something from you. Alright. The hunter will search for the salvagers' lost rations in areas where unfortunate skirmishes with Tanakh raiders occurred. You'll need a bristleback's nose for this one. Alright. For some reason, the Honda one is still on my thing. I'm pretty sure we're done with it, though. I hope this doesn't screw us over. Because, yeah, Honda already was like, oh, yeah, with all these parts, I can make what we need. I'll see you at, at Baron Light. And yet we got this mission here. It's still like, oh, go to the bones, right? Apex, Bellowback Heart, <laughs> and a Shell Walker Lightning Gun. All right. Well, closest one is this pristine bellow back. So I'll mark that. We'll make our way over there. All right. Pristine bellow back. The hunter will hunt down and eliminate a bellow back without destroying its cargo, refining sack, or gullet. The salvagers suggest using purge water weapons and or ammo to help with this. The salvagers will retrieve the carcass of said machine once proper preparations have been made. Be careful. Ah, fuck. When I get a chance, I should read Runda's contracts. Take a look at the details. The lower back run dimension should be close by. I should look at the contract just to be sure. There you are. Ah! Okay. Sparker. That's it. That's the only thing I can damage. Stop spewing acid on me! No! Cargo sack intact. What? No! That's fucking so sad. Fuck. Okay. Not the priority for now, though. Ah! 
<laughs> Gotta be careful. Oh no, I'm stuck. Ah! Oh, we're hopping off. Fuck! I have to look for another bell back. One with its cargo. Oh my god. What bad luck. My God! At least they're not too far away from each other. I need to take it down without damaging its cargo sack. And his crew is gonna need it. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. On foot, we'll have a lot more control of my attacks. Gotta be careful. Can't hit that. Ah! The cargo set intact. I'm just trying to shoot the eyeballs. You're welcome, Runda. <laughs> I killed three Bellabacks for you. So even if you don't want the other two carcasses, you know, like they could still give you some valuable salvage. All right. What are the What are the other ones? You know, she wants me to go to a Bristleback site. to hunt for those other supplies. What about the other one? Oh, one of yours last calculation. Oh wow, that's that's really far, dude. Holy shit. That's not just getting, like, a little lost in the desert, man. That is... A fucking hell, well, they've been gone for a week. Or a month. Close to where Runda's crew lost their food rations. She said only a bristleback would be able to sniff them out into the sand. I think that can be arranged. Bristlebacks. Perfect. If I can override one, I can use it to find the rations the officer lost. Alright, I guess we're bristlebacking. something I appreciate the developers thinking of this mechanic and not making it like a big collectible thing like oh just ride the bristle back to this question mark thanks for the help buddy Rations. barely enough for a few people I should check the other locations see if I can find more uh please let me go forward <laughs> bristle backs just like mm Hill is steep. I don't like. Okay, this was not what I wanted. 
but I'll take it. I was trying to get off and loot the box, and then she just hopped on her own. I'm surprised I didn't get that campfire before. What the hell? We've been in this area. Am I standing on the location? No. <laughs> Nothing? Good job, oh. Lady. Let's see what we got. Brenda's rations should be around here. I need to find them. I run through here? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, fuck no! Ooh. Oh, fuck no! No shot. No shot. Alright, well, uh, yes shot, actually. It turns out that we're... Fuck. Not only do we have to deal with these rebels, but we also have to deal with this fucking behemoth. I hate that. I was hoping to look for Linda's rations in this area. My bristleback's chilling out. Oh God! God, Jesus! Well, let's see how you like shock arrows, fucker. Shit. This doesn't lead around. Headshot. you to go to my bristle pack. Fight me! Get back in here and fight me! What the fuck are those doing in here? Woman to woman. Component destroyed. Why are my components getting destroyed? No. Oh, I'm also getting like distracted by this goddamn mad. It's back, man. I'm laying a trap out tomorrow. Fucking next time I play this game. No mercy for the bugs. I'm surprised I didn't hit the eye. What the fuck? There we go. Greetings, birds. It's got a weak spot. Just face me, woman to woman. I don't even know where the fuck you are. Than it has to be. Oh, there she is. I think I got all of them. Should be safe to let that bristle back look for Runda's rations now. 
fucking maybe we're being lurked on. All right, buddy. It's up to you now. I don't think the behemoth was supposed to be here. The behemoth convoy. Sorry about that. The gnat landed on top of my mic, so I fucking smacked my mic in an attempt to kill it. It got away. Promising. Now, what did you find? Yes. It looks like most of Ronda's rations are here. I should take this back to her crew as soon as I can. You say that, but we still have all those other things to do for her. Like, we gotta get that gear back. Yeah, we'll give some of that. We'll give her some of this stuff. Aloy, you're back. Their camp is absolutely in shambles. They need help. I found the food rations. And I took down that barrel back. You should be able to salvage what you need and set up a perimeter. I'll let the crew know. Thanks, Aloy. Now I know I could keep my crew safe till we're ready to head to no man's land. Of course, here's your payment. It's only fair. Thanks. I have to get going. Good luck to us both. All right, let's go. Oh, she gave me. Oh, oh, what? She gave me an orange coil! Instant coroning chance, 4%. Holy shit. That is incredibly... interesting. Hmm. I might sacrifice... a little bit of impact damage just to get this on there, because that's... Pretty nice. Storm like that in all my years. All right, and then we've got to go fucking far as shit. Oh. Well, <laughs> we'll go here then. I was like, oh, this far, this this campfire is really close. But I don't have it because I'm not super explorative. Or have it been super explorative? Shovel, check. Pickaxe, check. Have That's I got it. news for you, Red? Check. Let's roll. <coughs> Maybe if I just put this. You might want to avoid going too deep into the desert, especially the southwest. One of our scouts ran into some nasty Tanakh down there, the kind that contain machines. He barely made it back alive. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> I do already know about this camp, but thank you for giving me the extra hint. Oh, their, their camp is chilling out underneath a, an, a, an old Horus. Holy fuck. Or a dead Horus. Sounds like the rebels are as friendly as ever. I wonder what they're doing this far out in the desert. Blasted sand getting into every nook and What's cranny. Up? Everything okay there, Porgif? Ah, my steel flame friend. Behold. Oh, your lockbox. The one I found in the tunnel. Just the one. It was bequeathed to me when my dear Ma passed. Never could get the damn thing open, but the lock must have broken off when the rock breaker attacked. Haven't seen its contents at long last. I want Marcia to have it. My sister. She could use it more than me. Hold on. If it was given to you, why couldn't you get it open? I lost the key. You know how it is with small objects, big hands. Not that you know how it is exactly. I mean, your hands are dainty, of course. No, not dainty. Well forged. That's it. <laughs> All right, I stole the box. It was supposed to go to Marsa, but I just wanted something of my ma's to remember her by. So the box rightfully belongs to your sister, and now you want to return it. What was inside that made you change your mind? 
Nothing. I just thought she'd want it back. She and my ma were close. Me, well, guess you could say I was always the stray spark. All right, Porgif. Sounds like you want me to give this box to your sister. Where is she? That is a good question. I know she was working in Chain Scrape last. Huh. I have a friend there. I could ask her. Haha! <laughs> well forced and well connected. If I'm in the area, I will try to find your sister. At least to hear her side of the story. Okay. Well, if you see Marsa, tell her. I still remember the flying keg. <laughs> I hope that I means something to her. I can find Marsa. I should pay her a visit the next time I'm in Chainscrape. Yeah, we can we can head there after we're done helping Runda. I won't put it off too long. I think Runda's crew lost their gear somewhere in this area. I should give her contract another read, just to be sure I know what I'm doing. Sure. Missing gear. Uh, the hunter will track down and return those salvagers lost gear. It was last seen on a cart somewhere around the marked location. All right. Looking for a cart. Like that? Uh, that must be the cart the contract mentioned. But whatever gear it was carrying isn't here. I should take a closer look. Whoever took the gear did a number on this cart. Maybe my focus can help me figure out what happened. Rebel camp? Hey, leave me alone. I'm not doing anything. More claw marks. Bigger ones. Maybe a sun wings. Claw marks. Might be from Glinthawks. Whichever did this must have scavenged the gear left in the cart. Maybe if I give it something else to scavenge, I can lure it back. Then follow it to its nest. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. I think I found my bait. Alright, let's find somewhere to hide. Run, little pig, run! So it was a sunwing. If I want to find Ridge's gear, I'm gonna have to follow this thing quietly. Oh my lord. Anything on this that I need? Obviously, probably sunwing primary nerve, but that's fine. We'll just follow it. Tail the flying beast. It'd be really fucking annoying if they actually made it a mechanic that a sun wing could swoop in, grab your fucking machine components and just fly off with them. What the fuck is it doing? The 
This must be the Sunwing's nest. Let's hope Brenda's gear is here. Leave the Sunwing's nest. All right. There's a lot of Sunwings here, actually. But yeah, if that one's just gonna fuck off with the body, I'm down for it. That's Osram gear, all right. I better get out of here before the Sunwing comes back and get this to Runda's crew. <laughs> it scavenges by blasting it with plasma. I'll leave it be. Enjoy your scaven your scavenge, little guy. Aloy, it's Kudalo. Yeah? I've heard a strange report about a missing soldier from Tide's Reach, a lowland village on the western coast. With the marshal spread thin, there's no one to investigate. Would you consider it? I'll try to stop by when I'm out that way. Yeah, thankfully for the whole world. You know, they, uh, they actually can wait while I do everything else. Aloy, you're back. Oh. Place doesn't look too different, but... Good to know we won't starve to death. Maybe that wasn't there before. And again, there's always the Tanakh. I got the camping gear you needed. So you came through. Thank you, Aloy. This'll make my crew a lot more comfortable. Now as per our contract, here's your payment. Thank you. Looks like we'll be able to make our way back to No Man's Land as soon as my crew is strong enough. But I was wondering, the rollerback salvage I was gonna use to build the armor, I lost it after we ran into those Tanakh. I was hoping you could find it for me. Otherwise, all of this would have been for nothing. Do you have any idea where it might be? I marked the area on your contract. I know it's not much to go on. All right, I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Aloy. All right, roll it back, Salvage. Where are we going here? Uh... Oh, over here. Okay. Look. It shows there's another recording in there. There is not another recording in there. I should read that contract when I get the chance. I keep pressing the button to like open it up. I guess I'm hitting the wrong ones. Or at the wrong time, rather. What do they what do they want? Data points. Rollerback salvage. The hunters will search and retrieve lost rollerback salvage, and the salvages suggest starting the search at the designated location. I'll owe you an L for this one. All right. And then it looks like we've got four more salvage contracts remaining. Good freeze that machine. Heartbreaker. No, I was so close. No. Oh, ow. All right, all the, the dust is shot off.
Uh, hi, how are you doing? Shit! I didn't expect that to split across the ground like that. Hey, look at that! Fuck yeah! Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how many times we, like, apply the corroding effect. The big one I want is the brittle effect. I think that's gonna be drastically more helpful. Is that? <laughs> it's a bird. Holy shit, it was glowing so brightly. I'm trying to find the tusks. There are two of them. I should read the oh, contract. There we go. Fantastic. All right. Another Tremor Tusk successfully salvaged for later. Come along, Bristleback. Ooh. Look how intimidating the, uh, the horse looks. How big that Horus is and the, the rest of the stuff in front of it. I'm surprised there isn't like a whole side quest dedicated to clearing that place out. Well, this isn't it. Hey! Oh! Oh, shit! What the- what the fuck did it just do? God, Bristleback, can't you just get the hell out of here? Did it leave? It absolutely did! Yeah, well, here's what I think of your plinkity plink plink. Show that sparker towards me again. Yeah! Oh my god! 
Well, guess what, motherfucker? You ain't got no shell now! You have a brace shot on your tummy. I should be able to get run to salvage now. Might as well take the extra salvage to run back. <sighs> we'll be back salvage. Nice. I guess I just got really unlucky in finding the shell snapper first out of all the salvage. God. Or I guess second. Well, that was that was a worthwhile battle. We got a lot of shell snapper bolts from that. Here we go. I guess it'll be enough to forge some armor. Time to take it back to Runda. Well, let's rumble. Huntress, you look like you've been in a fight. Yeah, you can say that. Found your salvage. Had to find a shell snapper for it. A shell snapper, huh? You know, after all this, I was thinking about making a new helmet for the armor. Something better prepared to deal with a sandstorm. That shell snapper salvage might do the trick. No sense in letting your hard work go to waste. Glad it helped. Here, your payment. Maybe when my armor wins Karov's competition, you'll come by to celebrate with us. If you have time to go back to Baron Light, that is. I'd like that. We'll see. You gotta admit, that's a pretty good salvage out here. Got the fucking the, the snat that's been annoying me for the last few hours. All right, at least I hope so. Could be more than one nat. Don't know. It's that season where they just kind of uh, just keep showing up. Especially because, like, my <laughs> my uh, house currently still has, like, a damaged window. <laughs> so, bugs are kind of free to just fly in if they want. Fucking nature. Alright. Well, we did that. So let us head uh, to Chain Scrape. We need a new lead. We need to find out where this dude's sister is.